Concrete jungle. You said that was day four Charlie, right? I just said one more unit to my location. Don, he just. One David, I'll head over to the second night. What's up, Dean? What's up, Cindy? Uh, looks like everybody's socially distancing. Hello, Sammy. Sammy, I heard in UK they're um they're looting the stores. Is that true? She gave me some video of uh, folks looting stores in UK. At least that's what I heard. to say about the, a third of the folks it's normal to see them in masks in these days you know can i stop by barbecues and bring me some wings i'm on flatbush <laughs> that's funny what do i look like a uh, gig economy worker over here forget about it So far, I didn't see any uh, team sports or any, you know, I mean, what happened to all, like, the folks who come out to play basketball? I expected them to come out and be like, hey, yo, F the police, yo, and still, like, play basketball, you know? But, unfortunately, I didn't see those folks out. So, what are you guys doing while at home? Any like fun things? Uh, not the most socially distant over here, but it seems like families and such. Yeah. I don't see groups of friends. I never see groups of friends. What's up with this city of New York, um, Prius? I don't know why he felt the need to pull over, but that's what he did. More, more folks in mass. You think it's like Halloween around here or something? Wow, you lived in New York 50 years, huh? That's quite a while. When's your anniversary? No, I'm uh I'm on a 10 too. If I hear something on the way back though, you know, I might hit that. Came out real quick to get folks at the park. Oh wow! Uh, it looks like, like relatively socially distant folks here. Trader Joe's. They got this huge line with six feet between everybody. I think I'm gonna get that. Sergeant at 749 Vermont for a missing. 
So this is where, you know, I'm just driving by and I see something that might be newsworthy. But I'm trying to find my scarf now. Try not to hit the biker on the way out. Uh, social distance please. I think I hear an uh, ambulance actually. Yeah, the weather is uh, actually not too bad right now.
I smell drugs. I know we're doing drugs at this at this uh this location. But I'm not trying to fail my drug test anytime soon either. You going on a good call? No, I don't hear any good calls. So you got COVID around and when COVID's here, you got a, um, you got a, uh, crime is down when COVID's here. What's up, Ashley? It's funny, the guy told me, um, excuse me, you got permission to take people's uh, photo? Well, little is, you know, you don't need permission for anyone in public. And I gotta say, all this social distancing is great for um, not talking to people. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, no, no PPE even? Oh, that's... You're not even gearing up. I guess this is not a fever cough job. No COVID-19 over here, folks. But the thing is that the patient can always surprise them when they go in. And I'd say, oh yeah, by the way, I did have a fever or whatever, and uh, and now they got to come back out to the ambulance, get all their gear on, and then go back inside. And then it's like, what's the point, you know? Ideally, they would tell that to the 911 dispatcher, but if you guys heard that conversation I had with that EMT I interviewed, it doesn't always work out that way. So they go through, our first responders go through a lot of stuff. No, this ain't a job. Let's get out of here. Is, um, wait a minute, the 4 8 is also here? That doesn't make any sense. 4 8 is in the Bronx. Hmm, it's strange. Sure. folks out here. Uh, this is the Atlantic Barclay Center. Uh, probably the, the, the biggest intersection in Brooklyn. Charlie, 
Yeah, this dude has some kind of gas mask. Are you guys even in front of there? Four guys with this Yeah, they're in Uh, no, we haven't not. We can ask them. There's an FDNY ambulance. I wonder where they're going.
All right, we got a lady who fell here. We're just not sure what, why she fell. Is she homeless? Is she an elderly woman? What is the story? But they are requesting an ambulance. Uh, I have no idea what the, what the situation is about. But an ambulance is showing up. And so is a fire truck. She seems to be waking up or trying to get up. Firefighters have just arrived. And you got here a guy carrying a huge amount of toilet paper that he just bought. You can see firefighters with face masks on. Well, one of them at least. But I don't think this is a COVID-19 patient. Otherwise, all of them would be having masks on. We can hear the ambulance coming. FDNY EMS. <laughs> Rolling 84. Anyone joining us? Just the lady who fell. Um, I do not think. I do not think that she is uh, a COVID-19 patient. Otherwise, they would all be wearing, you know, everything. The EMTs are most likely just wearing the face mask. From what I understand, they're all required to wear it on the job. Although this guy does not have one on. The other guy does not either. I don't know what these guys think they're recording, but it's just a, a lady who um, who fell. Nothing to worry about, folks. So one of the MTs is getting the stretcher out to put her on there. Looks like she's going to be transported. Nothing to see here, folks. Let's get out of here.
to precinct right here, folks. I see there was another police car in the distance. I'm not sure what's going on there. Ambulance is headed. Well, Midwood. Midwood ambulance. Since when do they go lights and sirens? It's kind of strange. of bodies. I highly doubt they will have piles of bodies visible. Highly doubt it. They're all bagged, bagged, yeah. Thank you. 